how to make a shirt smaller that's coming up. Hello fashion star, I'm Colleen Geely and welcome to FSE TV. If you're looking for clear and concise video tutorials, consider subscribing and let's get started. The best thing to do is to try your shirt on and, and decide how fitted you want it to be. So for example, I'm going to be taking my measurements for my, breath, for my bust area because my bust is bigger than my hips. And if your hips are bigger than your bust, you wanna make sure that um, you concentrate mainly on the hip area so that it doesn't become too tight and then you can taper in towards the bust. I'll show you examples of that as I make as I make the uh, refashioning of this shirt. So the shirt that I'm working with, as I said, is going to be this one. So um, make sure that you take your measurements, whether it's going to be your hips or your bust area, and let's get started. So I have turned my shirt inside out, and I've got my pin in position to how closely fitted I want my shirt to be. So I'm just going to continue just making sure that my shirt on the back is nice and flat and then put my pins in. So I'm going to keep this straight down. Um, you can use some other method of marking if you wish. If you wanted to use chalk, that would be fine. A felt marker, that would be also fine. So we want to make sure that when we come to do this sleeve section of the shirt, that we are making sure it's nice and flat. And we're carrying those measurements through to the sleeve, as long as the sleeve isn't too tightly fitted to your body shape. And then it really will depend on how much tightness or is that a word? Um, how well you want the sleeves to be fitted. So, and then it will be a case of then taking your work to the sewing machine and then sewing. So that is what mine is going to look like. So I'm going to start sewing from my sleeve point here and then I'm going to take it through the sleeve and down the side seam of the shirt. Right, so I am using white thread so that you can see and I'm also using this, um, a large stitch. And make sure that you stick to your regular stitch and whatever colour thread you need for matching with your shirt. So um, back stitch or reverse, make sure you do that. I'm just going to go straight ahead and just start sewing. Slow that down a bit for you. Because I'm going to be pulling my white thread out and then, and then sew it in black. But I just wanted to make sure that um, you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gradually sewing and pulling my pins out as I go. Do not sew over your pins, please. Yeah, you've got to think about health and safety when you're sewing. And just keep going gradually until you reach the end. So here you have my line of stitching, this white stitching here. And you can all see it is a straight line. So remember this area, my bust areas where I decided to make sure that fitted well and I just tapered it straight down and just came out just a little bit towards the hemline. And the sleeve is, I didn't want it too um, tight fitting. So um, I take that all the way to the cuff area. So uh, if you have big hips, then maybe you'd be wanting to start from this point here and then come 
in gradually, you've got smaller bust, and then start stitching along that line and all the way through the sleeve. So um, it is a case of making sure that you do fit your shirt before you decide to stitch and then you have a great fitted shirt. So that is a shirt that was big that is now smaller. So I hope you'll be refashioning all those shirts and making them smaller. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. When you do, don't forget to hit the bell which will notify you of when I upload videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and do share. Leave a comment and I will see you next time.